Sky Cypher, so do you need help with quests? Personally, I do, I am absolutely shit. If you are, then don't worry, because I've got five tricks that will, you know, help you get better at quests. All right, this one's related to swords. All right, so what you want to do with this is, swords on the floor, pick it up, and you hold down the button that you just used to pick it up, and then you press whatever button it is to drop on your device, and then if it works, you sh should still be holding it, but see the screen outline whenever you put your hand there. So you just want to grab, and see you can like grab around, and see so you grab from all the way back here, and it's all the way out there now. So this one is mainly for getting a bit more distance on your swords and it does a bit more damage. This does also work on the Isle of Lost Skulls swords and any other weapon. It's just range weapons don't really need it as they've already got range. Unlike the other one, this is only able to be done with a bow. So this is by far the most well known and used glitch and that is double shooting so it's quite difficult to learn and i'm not a teacher so i'm trying my best but don't expect to learn how to double shoot you'll have to you know get someone to teach you when you pull back you double tap so like this so you pull back and you go it's gonna take a lot of practice Alright, the last two ones were just for VR players only, and they do not work on screen mode. But this one, this is for general just a tip when you're playing with teammates. Just like the bow, friendly fire, you will lose so many points from killing teammates like this. So that's the tip, do not use this while well, there's team around. Bows are bad enough. Please don't use this. <laughs> Alright, this one is also to do with swords. I've got to mention this one and the first glitch can actually be done with any sort of melee weapon. So personally I cannot do this because it's only able to be done on Oculus Quest and Quest 2. It's basically on the touch controllers. You want to throw your sword and take the battery out mid throw and your hand will go flying and that will be able to kill pretty much anything also like the double shooting it might take a bit of practice to learn all right so the honorable mention is all the different places where you can glitch through the walls in these quests personally i don't find them that useful apart from one area that you can get through in the swamp level in crimson cauldron Apart from that, the rest of them, I don't find them that useful. So I thought I'd mention them, but they're probably not good enough to go on the list. This is probably something a lot of people kind of know already, but it's just such a good tip. So let's say your teammate is somewhere over there and you're out. Instead of waiting for them to come over and get you, you can glitch walk. A lot of people probably know how to glitch walk, and some people might not know you can do it while you're dead and go and revive yourself, you spin. So this is spin walking, so you spin. And then let's say I want to go over there. Then when I'm here, I lean backwards. And as I'm spinning, I go this way and I lean forwards, spin, back, forwards, back, forwards. And you do that fast enough and this is glitch walking. And then you can go over, revive someone without walking as when you're knocked down you cannot walk. So those were my tips for completing quests easier. And I hope you guys can go and complete some quests and get some cool items.